Another day, another data breach. Uh, this is kind of commonplace if you follow anything in the InfoSec security world when it comes to technology, that there is a constant of these companies that didn't secure data properly getting out there and your passwords along with it or whatever information they also may have about you. Well, this is another day and here's 773 million reasons you should keep a good, strong, unique password for everything. Now, many of you listeners probably already do, and that's fine. Uh, it's important to use a password manager because the human mind, uh, well, with a few exceptions, I've seen people that can do this, doesn't really do well at creating high entropy passwords unique across hundreds of sites. So I highly recommend using a password manager. But what we're here to talk about is, has your password been used before? Has it been pwned? And not everyone uh, knows about this service or maybe don't understand it very well, uh, but this is a pwned passwords checker that Troy Hunt keeps. So he started with a database of all of our email addresses uh, on here, and then he's moved on and then created this pwned passwords. And what it is, if you type in a password, I'm going to use the word password, whoops, P-A-S-S-W-R-D, and how many times has the word password been used? Uh, 3,645,804 times, according to the uh, databases that Troy Hunt has collected on this website and put together. So what this is, is a way to check if your password's been used before. And especially if you're using high entropy, very unique passwords, it should not have been used before. Or if it has, well, you know where it was used and you can start understanding the breach or that you really, really should change your password. If your password shows up here at all, or a password you plan on using, because just because it hasn't been pwned doesn't make it a good password, but if it's been pwned before, it's out in the wild and being used. So you may have some really unique thing you came up with, or you don't, uh, and this will let you know that someone else came up with that same combination of uh, letters and numbers and things like that before. So, but maybe you're going, I'm nervous, Tom. I don't wanna put my password just in some guy's website for it to be checked. Not a problem. First, he's not taking your whole password, but you don't have to take me for it. Uh, we're going to walk through the steps of how to how to actually test this and how it works uh, from the back end side because he developed an entire API. And I'll give you the links to the scripts I used for this, but it's pretty straight uh, forward that you just go ahead and pull some parameters right from an API. And this is all done in open source and clear text. So it's real. It's going to be pretty easy to follow. First, we're going to go over here to GitHub, and I'll leave a link to this below in the description uh, to grab this person's script that is my password pwned. It's a really simple script. Uh, that's why I like this one. There's other ones out there. Pick whichever one works for you. Uh, this one's just easy to step through for this demonstration. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this. So we're going to clone and go over here. Got just a command line with Debian, nothing big. I do have Git installed, so we're going to do Git clone. Oops. Paste that link in. All right. All right, let's walk through what the script does. Uh, let's see, it's uh, pwned pass.sh. So it's a single uh, bash script. So starting here at the beginning, we'll just walk you through real quick. It's going to uh, go ahead and get to the important parts right here. It's going to grab whatever input you put. So whatever you put in as your password when it asks you, it's going to go ahead and pipe that through OpenSSL and get a SHA-1. And what the SHA-1 is, it's a hash of your password, not your password. And I'll show you how the hashes work in just a second here. Then we're going to take the password and we only need the first five characters of that password. So we need the prefix. So here's the hash prefix. Here's the hash suffix. It's just going to dump it back out on the screen. And then here is where we're only sending that first five characters of a SHA-1. And you'll understand in a second here, if you haven't seen a SHA-1, that this is a, uh, when you create a hash of a password, this is a way or to identify uniqueness without revealing the full password because SHA-1 are very, very difficult uh, if ever to reverse engineer. So if I gave you a SHA-1 of my password, it would be very, very difficult to reverse engineer what it was, but you don't really want to give it all out there because you never want to give anyone even the chance to reverse engineer it. So what this uh, here, the script does, this is going to go, is it pwned range hash prefix, pull that first piece of the SHA-1, and it's going to echo a response, and then it's going to... Uh, go ahead and what this does is sorts and does a count of how many times it's been pwned. So uh, we'll run it first from the command line, then we'll show you what the script does to make it look even nicer. All right, we're going to use the same password again, uh, just password. So I can password pipe, and we're going to going to 
open SSL SHA-1. And there's the SHA-1 of this. Now, if we change this password to B, put the word 1 in front of it, you get a substantially different SHA-1. And if we put a 1 after it instead, we get a completely different SHA-1 password. Now, just so you kind of get an idea of how this works, the length never changes. So even if uh, I tried some more complicated password, some more, word, and we'll add some fun characters to it. See, the SHA-1 never changes the length, but the first five digits are gonna be unique, unique enough that we can determine whether or not this was used. So if we go over here, and we go to, uh, we're gonna use a curl command like they did, and we're gonna go use the API to make a determination. We're gonna use the first one, the password. Copy, too lazy to type. Uh, then we'd put range. And then all we need is them first five characters. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's giving us a count of all the databases that have that in there. So let's actually run the script manually and show you how that works. And we're going to go ahead and type in password. And we get that same number we got on there. So 3,645,804 uh, 3, times, just like when we typed in the word password here. So what if we added a one? So we're going to type password one this time. We get 2,401,761. Uh, 2, uh, so we're going to go ahead and run the script again. And you get the same thing. So now you can see just by setting this hash prefix, there's enough uniqueness in your passwords that you can do this. Now, this is a fun script that you can do to see if your password has been pwned. And, uh, you know, you can type different things in. So I'll uh, make something high entropy up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm LastPass is my favorite password manager. So we're going to go ahead and go here. We're going to hit generate password. That looks unique enough. Copy. Phone, whoop, phone password. Paste that in. Yay! Use zero times. Now, just because this is use zero times doesn't mean it's a great password. That one feels pretty good. This is what I actually pasted it in. But you get the idea that you can see if your password is used somewhere. So if you're nervous or you think someone had their password and you think it might be in the database there, it's worth checking. I think this is pretty uh, cool as a tool. There's actually a lot of people, and I haven't tested all of them, but uh, Troy has listed on the API just tons of uh, companies that have built all kinds of different plugins for different things uh, to check this. So as people are putting passwords in, you can check it against there. I think there's even a WordPress plugin for this, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, there's a key pass one. So you can take in, uh, you're just sending out those hashes and send it to uh, via P key pass and say, all right, where are any of these passwords used and things like that. So this is kind of a neat tool. And obviously, uh, Troy Hunt's keeping up with the database as best he can. It doesn't mean um, because you didn't find it, it isn't breached. But hey, it's one more way. If you do find it, it's been breached. So at least that is good information. It's one more layer of security, one more thing to check, and kind of novel to play with it here. I'll leave links to all these scripts and, of course, this website. So I, I found it interesting, and I thought you would too. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content from my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell icon, and hopefully YouTube will send you a notice. If you're interested in contracting Lawrence Systems for any type of IT services work or consulting work, go ahead and head over to lawrencesystems.com and fill out our contact and get in touch with us. If you would like to help the channel out in other ways, you can use our affiliate links below in the description, or we have a link directly to our Lawrence Systems page where we have a list of different affiliate offers, and it's very appreciated if you use any of those for signing up any of the services, and many of them offer you discounts. If you want to head over to our forums, there'll be a link in the description for our forums, uh, wherever they may be, because we've been looking at different forum platforms, but they'll always be relevantly linked right there. All right, once again, thanks. Leave some feedback and comments below on this video. If you loved it, if you hated it, I try to reply to everyone, the people who hate and the people who love them. So thank you very much and see you next time.